Oh, hey guys, check out this super cool new challenge. All I've heard about this is the scavenger hunt challenge. You're supposed to take three pictures of nature and then post on Instagram and you'll win an all-you-can-eat pizza party. An all-you-can-eat pizza party? Oh, we gotta do this challenge. Then I can show you all how many pieces of pizza I can eat. You just need to find these three things. A woodpecker, some long-lost treasure, and a beaver dam. And with all the forests and streams around here, we're sure to win! And we can use my cool flip phone! <laughs> Coach Rocco, I don't even think that phone has a camera. I sure it does. <laughs> Look. Boys and girls, if you want to help me, Coach Rocco, and Jimmy win this all-you-can-eat pizza party, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Come on, team, let's head out! We got some pizza to win! Yay! <laughs> Where's Jimmy? He's supposed to help us find this woodpecker. Last I heard from Jimmy, he was supposed to help us find the long lost treasure part of the challenge. Well, we shouldn't be separated. These woods are dangerous. You never know what you'll find. It's not too dangerous. I mean, summer camp is right over there. You don't know. There could be an angry gorilla waiting up there. Or a hippopotamus with its mouth wide open. I assure you there are no gorillas or hippopotamuses. Around. Giraffes. Giraffes? No giraffes. Bears! Well, maybe bears. <laughs> What's that? It's a bear! I don't think that's a bear. What is that? Uh-oh. It's... It's... What? Run! Oh, no need to run, Ellie. It's a kitty cat. How are you doing? You shouldn't be out here all on your own. It's dangerous. <laughs> what gorgeous colors you have. Aww. Coach! Coach! Wait, Coach? Oh, I must have ran so far and so fast I must have lost him. I hope he's doing okay with that skunk. Coach is right. These woods can be a little bit dangerous. I should probably stay on the edge of the woods. Wait, do you hear that? Huh, sounds like somebody hammering a nail up a tree. Gotta check this out. <gasps> wow, look at that! It's a woodpecker! It's so pretty! Look at all its colors and that beak. That must be what that hammering noise was earlier. The woodpecker is using his beak to hammer into the tree to find insects to eat. Unfortunately, woodpeckers are in danger, which means there are far less now than there were before. That means we have to be responsible and make sure that we protect these little creatures. <laughs> and that means staying far away from them and only taking photos of them if we want to keep a memory of them. All right, time to take this picture of the woodpecker before it flies away. Zooming in. Got it! Step one of the scavenger hunt complete! Ellie! Ellie! Look what I found! Hi, Jimmy! Is that a metal detector? I call it a treasure finder. I tried to ask Coach Rocco to show me how to use it, but he's too busy playing with Stinky the Cat. Stinky the Cat? You mean Stinky the Skunk? And Coach is playing with it? <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't figure out how this works. Well, I've seen Coach Rocco use this to find loose coins in the yard. Basically, all I have to do is turn these little knobs right here. There we go. <gasps> and when it beeps, <laughs> that's when you know you found something. Awesome. Did you find anything yet? Well, how about now? When it beeps, Jimmy. Anything? Are you sure it's working? Anything? When it beeps! Anything? What about now? Anything? Jimmy. Anything yet? Jimmy. Oh, come on. I thought I heard something. Anything? Jimmy, wait. You sure? Jimmy. Anything? What about now? What Jimmy! About now? Do you hear that? That means that there's something under here, and it could be long lost treasure. Treasure, here I come. <laughs> oh, come to Jimmy. We're rich, I tell you. They're jewels, Ellie, they're jewels. Look, this looks more like a girly bracelet, not treasure. Jimmy, that's my old bracelet from last year that I thought I lost. Oh my gosh, I was so sad when I lost it. This truly is long lost buried treasure. Quick, take a photo of it. All right, say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> awesome. Step two of the scavenger hunt complete. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, well, you can keep your girly treasure. I'm off to find some big boy treasure. We're gonna be rich, I tell you. We can live like kings. But Jimmy, we have one last step of the scavenger hunt to do. Oh, oh well, I gotta go do it by myself. Oh, with the help of you, Sparkle Squad. Yay! Next, we have to find a beaver dam. Well, I know beavers like to build dams near water, so let's find a pond or stream nearby. Come on, let's do this. So this is the longest stream I can find on campgrounds. Hmm, beavers like to build their dams along streams, so this should be the perfect place. Mr. Beaver, where are you? Hmm, let me take a look. <gasps> I think I see one over there. Yep, that's a beaver all right. It looks like he's finding sticks to build his dam. Did you know that beavers can hold their breath for 15 minutes underwater? That is longer than me, Coach Rocco, and Jimmy put together. They're so cool. Let's get closer. Oh, what's that over there? I think I see it. It's the beaver dam. Beaver dams are awesome. Firstly, because beavers use their big teeth to chop up small trees to make it. And it's a place to store their food, and it's a home for them to sleep in. <laughs> Gotta take a picture. Thanks, Mr. Beaver. Got it. That's one, two, three shots uploaded. And that means we won the Scavenger Hunt Challenge. Yay! I'm so hungry for pizza, I gotta tell the others. <laughs> Ellie, there you are. You're not gonna believe this. Give me that. Ow! Oh, that's much better. Turns out my cat that Coach Rocco spent all day with wasn't a cat after all. It's really a skunk, and he really is stinky too. Yeah, stinky allowed me to believe he was a cat all day, and then he had the nerve to spray me. I was sprayed and betrayed. <laughs> Today is a terrible day. To make things worse, I didn't find any buried treasure either. All I found was an old shoe. I guess that means we don't win the scavenger hunt, huh? Well, while you guys were getting sprayed and finding shoes in the yard, I've actually been the one completing the scavenger hunt challenge. You know what? It was pretty hard, but... You know what this means? Pizza! Now I can finally show you how many slices I can eat. Yeah! It just goes to show, when you're focused on your goals, you can achieve anything. But before mm. you can eat any more, I need you to do one more last thing. Take a bath, please, especially you, Go Draco. Oh, oh, well I heard that when you get sprayed, you can take a bath in tomato sauce and that gets rid of the smell. So maybe if I take some pizza and rub it on myself, that'll, that'll help, right? Hey there, Sparkle Squad! We're just scooting back home from school, and everyone was super excited today because tomorrow's the wait, last... Wait, 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 did you tell him yet? Did you tell him? See how excited everyone is? Because tomorrow is the... Wait, wait, hold on, Ellie. Can I tell him, please? Sure, go ahead, Jimmy. All right, everyone. I'm about to say it. Tomorrow's the last day of school! The greatest day of the year! I'll see you at the pool. That's how I'm spending my summer. Ooh, I think I'm gonna head there right now! Wee! But Jimmy, we still have a couple of assignments before the end of... Oh, that Jimmy. Boys and girls, if you want to see how we spend the last day of school, give me a big thumbs up. Let's do this. So the last assignment our teacher gave us was to go through our old school back and clear it out. Now there's a lot in here from over the school year. Let's see what we got. Got plenty of books and textbooks from class. My trusty pencil case. Oh, what's this? Oh, cool, our harmonica. Oh, I'm definitely gonna keep this. This reminds me of the time that we all had to think of a song for the school talent show. Uh, no, no, that won't work. Hey, Jimmy, you look a little frustrated. What's up? I wanna write a song for the school talent show, but I can't think of anything to write about. It's really hard. 
Yeah, writing is definitely super hard. Well, here's some advice that Coach Rocco once gave me. Write about something you like, or about someone who inspires you. Huh, that's a good idea, Ellie. You mean like a very good friend? Mm-hmm. Someone who's always there to cheer me up? Yeah. Someone really smart and really cool? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a cool person to write a song about. This is gonna be a great song. Thanks, Ellie. I can't wait for you to hear it. No problem. Hey, how's your talent show ideas coming? They're going really well, I think. Oh, Coach Rocco, I think that Jimmy's writing a song about me. <laughs> That's so cool. It's so hard to get him to do anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be playing the ukulele. It's gonna be a really good time. Voila! My masterpiece is complete. This song is dedicated to someone very special to me. Ellie, give me an E. There's someone that I know from school. His name is Jimmy and he's cool. Well, he's the coolest boy in school. Jimmy is cool. And everybody knows he rules at basketball and Roblox too. If you don't like him, you're a fool. Cause he's cool. Everybody know Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. He's the coolest boy in school. Jimmy is cool. He likes to wear the color orange. Oh, oh no. Oh, nothing rhymes with orange. But, but regardless, he is cool. And Jelly, you're okay too. Aww. Everyone, Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is so very cool. Jimmy is cool. Yeah. Awesome. I think that might be the best song ever written. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Can you believe that Jimmy made a song all about himself? Wait, actually I can't believe that. <laughs> what else do we have in here? Hmm. Oh, cool! My paintbrushes! Now I've used these guys for a lot of cool paintings over the years, but there is one from this past year that really stuck out. I wonder where our art teacher is. Class started five minutes ago and she's not here yet. Wait a minute, does that mean class is canceled? Can we go home? I'm here, I'm here, don't panic. Your regular art teacher called in sick today, so I'm gonna be taking over. I know I usually teach lunch and gym, but I think I'll be a pretty good substitute art teacher. Awesome, Coach Rocco, I didn't know you were an artist. So yeah. Coach Rocco, what are we gonna paint today? Maybe a seascape? Something from the Impressionist era? Will we be using acrylics or watercolors? Uh, an Impressionist what? <laughs> no, uh, I figured we could just get together and paint whatever makes us happy. That's a great idea, Coach Rocco. Paint what makes you happy. All right, and begin! All right, time's up. Now let's see your paintings. Ellie, what you got? All right, so I decided to go with some random shapes and some of my favorite colors that make me happy. Pink, yellow, and blue. And this is what I got. Hmm, that's called an abstract painting, Ellie. You know, the abstract style dates back to the early 1900s. Now me, I went for realism. As you can see, it's a self-portrait in the Da Vinci classic style, but with elements of, well, in terms of the common man, it's just me doing my Jimmy spin a rooney <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Coach Rocco? Let's see your painting. Oh, no, you don't want to see this. I only show my paintings to my mother, Mama Rocco, because I'm her favorite artist. <laughs> come on, Coach Rocco. Be really good. Come on, yeah. Come no, on. no, you don't want to see this. No, of course come we on. do. Class is almost over anyway. Oh, come on. We want to see it. We want to see what Mama Rocco's going to hang up in her house. All right, all right. <laughs> don't laugh. It's a painting of Mama Rocco. Coach, that is amazing. Yeah, wow, Coach. I really love the realism style that you painted your mother with and the way it clashes with the more German expressionism style of the wilted flowers. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I was going for. <laughs> I figured. But the most important question, Coach Rocco, is does it make you happy? 
You know what? It does. It really does make me happy. And I bet it'll make Mama Rocco happy as well. And that makes me the happiest of all. <laughs> I can't wait to show her. <laughs> Mama Rocco still has that painting hanging up. It just goes to show, you just gotta do what you love sometimes, you know? <laughs> now what else do I have in here? Nothing in there. Oh. oh. Of course, my favorite, a PB&J. And that reminds me of the time that we had a school picnic. That was so much fun. Hey there, Coach Rocco. Hi, Ellie. Ooh, you baked a pie. Yep, I baked it specially for this picnic. It's apple. <laughs> it smells delicious and it's beautiful. <laughs> you know, I've been baking a lot lately. I've been baking cakes and But cookies. what's a picnic without a little basketball? Specifically, the Jimmy Spinnerini. Oh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, no. You destroyed another pie. Oh, my pie. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't know it was there. What are we gonna do now? Well, don't panic. I brought all the ingredients to bake another pie. There's sugar, and flour, eggs in here, bowl, and- Wait a second. How are we gonna bake a pie out here without an oven? Well, I'm not gonna bring an oven to a picnic, silly. <laughs> Ooh, so what kind of pie should we make? Ooh, how about chocolate cream? No, Those I've, are my favorites. I've already decided I'm making a meringue. But we can't make any pies if there's no oven out here. You know, she might have a point, Coach Rocco. I know, let's make a cake instead. Well, I didn't bring any candles, Jimmy. Oh, come on, we can't even make a cake out here too. You know we bake cakes. Listen, I got some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that I made for myself. Mm. And I can share them all with you. Sounds pretty good. Mm. Ooh, there's some bugs out here. Ow. Wait a second. Jimmy, when you smash the pie, I think it attracted some ants! <laughs> all right, putting in the finishing touches and all done. Here's Sparkle Squad. Check it out. Looks super cozy, right? I just pitched this tent for summer camping. Ooh, roasting marshmallows, sleeping bags, telling spooky stories by the fire. <laughs> This camping trip is gonna be awesome. Yay. Need any help over there? Uh, nope, nope, got it all under control. Let's see, if we put this in, this all looks the same. How do you do this? You sure you don't need any help, Jimmy? You know what, who needs tents when you have bedrooms anyway? My bedroom has video games, a TV, a cozy bed, and most importantly, video games. If you need me, I'll be in my bedroom. Hello there, campers! <laughs> Better get back to your tent, Jimmy! You're gonna need it for today's activity because it's the last to leave your tent challenge. Better gather your most important things because you're gonna need them because the first to leave their tent has to cook lunch and wash the dishes for a whole week. <laughs> Wait a second, can the winner pick what's for lunch too? Because if so, I want ice cream for the whole week. I've always wanted to try that. Jimmy, would you fix your tent? How many times have I taught you to pitch a tent? Ellie, could you help him with that? Sure thing, Coach. <laughs> Are you excited to go camping, Jimmy? Boys and girls, if you want to hang out with me and Jimmy all day in our tents, give me a big thumbs up. Let's do this. You gotta put it through the holes in the corners, guys. Welcome to the inside of my tent. Let me give you a tour. So, I figure since, you know, we're gonna be staying in our tents and we lose if we leave, that will make it more like home. Make it your own, you know? <laughs> so I got my yellow blanket and my pink blanket, my favorite bear, Mr. Sparkles, these cool space decorations that are from my room, my Ellie Sparkles doll and a pillow, my favorite pillow ever, and it even gets cooler outside because I even brought my artwork. It's my easel and the thing that I'm working on right now. How are you doing over there in your tent, Jimmy? <laughs> going just fine, Ellie. You see, I figured if I'm gonna win this challenge, I better keep busy. That's why I brought my number one most important possession. My basketball hoop. Ah, can't wait to get out and set this baby up. Ugh. It's a little heavier than I thought. Yeah. 
and all done. This means that I have everything for the perfect camping trip. Basketball, check. Basketball hoop, check. Swish, and the crowd goes wild. Now I know what you might be thinking. Jimmy, you might be the coolest camper ever. And you're right, because if my calculations are correct, I have just enough room here to do one of my patented, world famous Jimmy's Thin Aroonies. Let's give it a try. Spin a Rooney! Huh. Well, that one was just practice anyway. I'm still getting used to this whole tent setup. All I need to do is hop into the pool, grab my ball, and then I'll be ready to do the perfect spin a Rooney. Time for a swim! Uh oh. The problem is, the pool is outside the lines of these cones, and technically I'm not supposed to go past the boundaries. That's why we'll have to make sure that nobody catches me. Be super quiet. Shh. What you doing, Jimmy? I hope you're not planning to step outside these cones, because if you do, you'll lose! Who, me? Coach Rocco, this is Jimmy you're talking to, remember? I'd never dream of doing such a thing. <laughs> I'll just uh, be back in my tent. Jimmy's right. You should definitely have some activities to pass the time, especially when you're going to be out here for a long time, like this. Which is why I brought some of my favorite books. There's nothing like a good book. A good book and a soft bean bag chair. <sighs> this is a great idea for Jimmy too. Well, I wonder where he is. Hmm, is he asleep? Hey, Jimmy. I brought some of my favorite books. Do you want to borrow one? Books? No thanks, Ellie. I brought video games instead. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, if you want one, they're always here for you. <laughs> wow, Jimmy actually came prepared and brought all his favorite things. Maybe he'll actually win this challenge after all. <laughs> Can't talk now, Ellie. Time for some gaming. To keep myself preoccupied, I brought my gaming headset and, check this out, my VR system. This is gonna be so cool. It's a little bit low on power though. Hmm, good thing I brought my power cord. <laughs> you didn't actually think I'd forget this, did you? This is Jimmy you're talking about, pretty smart guy. I just need to plug it into the outlet and, where's the outlet? There's gotta be one in here somewhere. Uh-oh, maybe Ellie will know. Hey. Ellie, do you know where the outlets are in this tent? <laughs> Seriously? There's no plugs out here in the great outdoors, Jimmy. <laughs> L-O-L. <laughs> Still have that book for you, though. Oh, no. No outlets. No, no, no. This can't be happening. Oh, no basketball, no movies, no video games. This is the worst tent ever. We've been out here for a super long time already. I'm getting super hungry all of a sudden. Hmm. That's one of the most important things you should bring on a camping trip. Food and water. It's a good thing I brought my favorite food. PB&J. And a banana for extra energy. And of course, some water to stay hydrated. Hey Jimmy, you want to split this PB&J with me? No thanks, Ellie. I brought my own lunch. Popcorn. All I need to do is put this baby in the microwave and two minutes later, I'm ready to eat. Um, Jimmy, are you forgetting something? Oh no, you're right. I forgot the butter. <laughs> no, not the butter. I'm talking about the microwave and there's also no electricity out here. No oh, popcorn balls. I can't believe this happened to me again. What am I gonna do for lunch now? Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Oh, Ellie, you wouldn't happen to have any rope in your tent, would you? Rope? Well, I mean, I have some yarn for my knitting project, but why do you need it? Oh, you'll find out soon enough once you taste my delicious popcorn. Okay, here it is. Perfect, this is gonna work awesome. Good luck, Jimmy. Looks like Ellie's reading. 
That means it's the perfect time to explain to you all the super awesome plan I just thought of. Now you'll see why they call me Jimmy the Camping Expert. So everyone knows that if I leave the boundary cones, that means I lose the challenge. Well, I found a way that I can leave while still being in the boundary. I tied one end of Ellie's rope to my wrist and the other end of it to the boundary cone. That means that I can walk all the way to the kitchen to heat up my popcorn and I'll still technically be within the boundaries. Wow, I really am the smartest camper ever. Don't you all agree? Nobody's in here. I made it all the way to the kitchen without anyone catching me. I gotta say, this is one of my smartest plans ever. Popcorn, meat, microwave. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah, Coach Rocco! <laughs> Looks like you stepped out of the boundaries, Jimmy. You know what that means? No, 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 Coach, I can explain. You see, I tied one end of the rope to the wrist, and I tied the other end of the rope to a cone, which is still safely in the boundaries. You mean this cone? Oh no, wait, what? How did that happen? It was perfectly in there. Oh, Ellie, could you come down to the kitchen, please? Oh, I'm ruined. Coach Rocco, she's gonna make me do the dishes for a whole week, and I don't even know how to do dishes. I'm much better at making them dirty than I am at making them clean. Hey, Coach. Hey, Jimmy, what are you doing here? Ellie Sparkles, you are the winner of the tent challenge. <laughs> that means you get to pick lunch for a week, and you get to do the dishes. Ooh, what could we possibly make? Oh, I have so many ideas. Pizza, pasta. Oh, what is super messy and extra hard to clean up? How about, <laughs> how about we make Coach Rocco's famous sloppy joes? Ooh, that sounds good to me. I like to put ketchup in mine and mayo and mustard, and sometimes I put a little chocolate. <laughs> huh? Yes, that's living life on the edge. That's how I... <laughs> Wasn't that video super fun, Sparkle Squad? Boys and girls, if you want to watch more of my videos, make sure you type Ellie Sparkles in the search bar. And mom and dad, if you want to learn more about me, you can check out my website at elliesparkles.com, my Instagram, Ellie Sparkles Official, or on Facebook at Ellie Sparkles. <laughs> See you soon!